Hello there, Delroy the Spark here again. I um, just want to give a big shout out to Kerry. You may have noticed a new channel logo. Well, that was done by Kerry. She's a cra graphic designer. She does great work at a good price. So if you need any logos or any design work done, drop her an email. The details are in the on the screen now, and also in the description box. Thanks for watching. Nice one, Kerry. Hi there, uh, Delroy Spark again. Um, just arrived at a job. Um, I think it's to install a, a freestanding cooker. I think it's just a matter of connecting the cable and connecting it to the outlet at the bottom. Because the client told me it's an ex-council property and it's got a cooker switch and um, outlet down the bottom. So I'll just get in there, get it done and hopefully film it to let you see. See you later. Thanks for watching. Um, okay, right. So. Work instead, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, All right. So. Never mind. So this is the cooker, yeah. This is the cooker. That's the new one. Okay. There's the cooker switch. Cooker switch. And that's down there. But you know, um, you know, if that cooker switch was being fitted today, that would have, as a matter of fact, that would have to be go over to this side. Because you, you're not supposed to have a cooker switch right over the cooker. And as you can see, that's plastic, yeah? yeah. So if anything happened, it would just melt that. You know? Oh my god. Yeah. No, don't. No, I've, I've had a cooker there for yeah, no, 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 27 no. years. Oh, no, 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 that's, they've all, all of them. Yeah. Back in the day, that's how they done cooker switches, yeah. right in the middle. Because you see, this was metal as well. Yeah. Well, you, that's plastic and sticking yeah. out. So. Really? Ne I've had a gas. I've never had an electric cooker here, but I've Why had a did gas they? I've had a gas cooker here. Yeah. Um, it must be pretty strong stuff because it ain't. It's no, no, no. It's not. It's, it's not matter of. Yeah. No, it's not ma matter of being strong. I'm not saying it to worry you. Well, I'm just telling you. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I haven't come oh. to look at that. All oh. I've done. I'm just letting you know. I was just, frightened then. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not to frighten you, because. Um, do you know why? Because the original one was metal, yeah, yeah. like like that big thing. Yeah, I can remember why that. did they do that? Why did they put I that don't on? Know, do you know? Mate. It was like that when I come here. Okay. All right, no worries. I'll just get on with it and uh, wire the new cooker in. Okay. Oh. So there are the connections there. Mm -hmm. uh, the lady's got her own cable. She bought some two five cable. I mean, some four mil cable, which is recommended by the. Um, manufacturers that she bought twin and a half cable so I'm gonna use that. I usually use flex. But okay, mm. I'll use that. <coughs> so they recommend you use four mil That's cable. What it says there. Okay cool. Uh, and uh, just to let those who don't know, whenever you're doing these cookers you need these bits because it's not it's not ordinary screws. It's uh, That's the type of screws you got there. So you need those bits to open it. Right, so there it is all connected. Uh, I used a bit of flex <coughs> and I put some metal connectors on it so the flex don't, um, some lugs on it so they don't damage the flex. So um, that's it all done. Just going to put a test, uh, loop test there. Make sure everything's okay. All right. So after I connected, I came here and I noticed that they've got a 40 amp MCB for the cooker. So I didn't want to leave that 20 amp, that um, four mil cable in because that's 20 amp, 32 amp the most. So I, I come back and I fitted the six mil twin and earth that the lady had just to be on the safe side because I didn't want to leave a 20 amp cable protected by a 40 amp mcb so it was either changing the fuse or changing the cable and i haven't got a fuse the mcb so i decided to change the cable uh, i think that's the right thing to do so it's, everything's all good now i'm just going to put a test on it and see what the zs is yeah all, all the young guys there like you know they used to keep us old ladies all up to date you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> they used to help us do things and um and tell us what we should be getting and what we shouldn't be getting and and now i'm i'm out of asda and i don't see them all anymore um 
I feel like technology is passing me by a bit. Not point four one. It's all good. Right. Um, there we are. There we are. Cuckoo's in situ. All connected. Everything good. Yep. That's all done. All completed. Off to the next job. Um, yeah. I had to take that um, four mil that I put in because uh, I just once I connected I thought let me just go and check the fuse was the power was off actually so I went to check and when I saw the 40 amp fuse um, I just thought no you can't leave four mil cable protected by a 40 amp fuse 32 amp yeah because uh, four mil cable usually have a 20 amp protecting it but you can get away with 32 but 40 no I don't think so so that's why I decided to change and use the six mil twin and earth that the uh, lady bought. Now, I most cookers that I see are connected with twin and earth, but I started using flex ages ago to connect cookers. But sometimes, like this one, um, it takes the four mil flex fairly easy. In the connections are fine, but it's the clamp that that holds the cable in place that was okay and that the cooker outlet but the six mil um flex that i was going to use the, the rubber is quite thick and the, the cable clamp would hold it but it's at an angle it wasn't right it's the six mil to the nerve it holds that perfectly so that's why i i know that from experience um so that's why i decided to just use the to the nerve she's got rather than the six mil that i've got that, um, that I had. Uh, some cookers, the six mil goes in okay, others they don't. Um, so, yep, so that's why I decided to do that. Um, so that's all done. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.